Hey guys, this is Fiona 91 and I'm bringing you another How to Off Meta, and today we're talking about Tarek Top. Now, Tarek is usually looked upon as a sup, and pretty much that's it, but Tarek can actually top pretty well. Now, I don't know how Tarek plays as a sup, so I wouldn't really know the differences here, but when you play Tarek as a top, you tend to have to be tanky, but you also have to do some damage. First things first, runes. Now, these are the runes, I believe, whether you go AP or AD Tarek. Yes, you can do both. I prefer AD, but you can do both. Now, the reason why Tarek needs the mana flow band is because Tarek needs mana. In general, I use Tarek's Q and E a lot in lane, and the W can be useful as well. So definitely going to need to be tanky, and also going to need to have a good amount of mana. Items. If you go AP Tarek, you still need to be slightly tanky, so I would go either Rod of Ages or Rift Maker. If you go AD Tarek, you definitely need to be slightly tanky at least. So I would go Hullbreaker. Sometimes I even get Hullbreaker first. And then you get your Mythic, or you can get your Mythic first depending on the situation. And that would either be Trinity Force or Stridebreaker because Tarek needs to be able to chase people. And Trinity Force gives you more movement speed, especially when you're, I believe, attacking champions. While Stridebreaker gives you the ability to not root, but to slow them down, I think, for about three seconds. Now, if you're against like a range top like Quinn or something like that, you would want to get Stride Breaker first before you get the Hull Breaker. But if you're against a, a melee top, then I usually would get Hull Breaker first because Hull Breaker definitely, I think, helps out more as a starting item for Tarek. Playstyle. Now, Tarek, one of his best abilities is his ability to sit in it. What I mean by that? Well, most champions. Whether they're melee or range, I have to like run away, attack, run away, or something like that, right? No. Tarek can sit in it because of his Q and his E. Yes, his W helps too, but definitely it's big because of the Q and the E. See, when Tarek attacks after using an ability, he takes some time off the cooldown of his abilities. In fact, you can Q, attack twice, Q again, attack twice, Q again, attack twice. So while you're attacking them, and your attacks are getting stronger because it gives magic damage, I believe, after you use an ability, you are also getting healed because you can Q, attack twice, Q, attack twice, Q, attack twice, and this really allows you to get their health down to a good amount before your health actually gets down. And sometimes I believe this takes people at, I don't know what want to call surprise, but, and sometimes I believe they're just not expecting this because sometimes they sit in it too. They try to use all their abilities against you and they don't realize that you're actually losing health slower overall than they are. This especially works against Iolai. In fact, Tarek top, I would actually say counters Iolai. Why? Because Iolai kind of relies on being able to kill you like in burst. I don't know if it burst is the right word, but she does get you low pretty quickly. But with Tarek, you can sit in it. You can even sit in her ult because all you have to do is ult when Iolai ults and then you can actually survive her ult. Like it really works. But the one hero I would not use Tarek against is Nar. Nar is just so hard to like catch, even with, with Tarek, because Tarek really only has his E stun, unless, of course, you have Stride Breaker. But still, even with all that, Nar is really hard to catch with a Tarek. So I would not use him against Nar. But basically, everybody else, Tarek can go against and hold his own, especially with his ability to sit in it. So let's summarize. Runes. Tanky Fighter. Even if you go AP, you still need to be slightly tanky, so the runes don't change. Items. AP, Riftmaker, or Rod of Ages. AD, Hullbreaker, and then Trinity Force, or Stridebreaker. Playstyle. Sit in it. You can be very aggressive with Tarek because he has the ability to sit in others' abilities, basically. And as long as you're queuing, especially, healing yourself in between the attacks, you should be able to sit in it until they die. Now, sometimes maybe, you know, depending on how a champion is, they may be able to survive that, and then you may want to use your E to get away, you know, stun them and then run away. But for the most part, you can sit in it. For most heroes, you can just sit in it and attack them. But what do you guys think about Tarek Top? Have you tried this? Do you guys think you may try this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.